At the beginning of the movie, a boy is in a metal room that has six doors. On the other side of these doors there were also empty rooms made of metal. This boy jumps into a room hoping that there may be a way to get out of this place but suddenly some pillars come out of the walls of the room and a pillar crosses the boy's body. This boy dies which shows that this place is a death trap. In the further scene, three people who do not remember how they got here are shown in a cube room. They do not even have any luggage with them. Before these people could understand the situation, a man drops a shoe in their room. After knowing that this room is safe, that boy named Hiroshi jumps into this room. After a while, a girl also comes in this room. Now when Hiroshi opens the door above him to get out of this room, from there, the dead body of same boy fell who died in the last scene. Seeing this, everyone is scared. A boy plans to get out of the other door but Hiroshi stops him and says it is not safe to go to any room like this. He throws his shoe and checks the room. As the shoe entered the room, a fire burned it. It is known that there are dangerous traps in some rooms which were turning on through different sensors and if these people had gone to those trap rooms, they would have been killed. Now they throw their shoes and go ahead checking the rooms and in a room, they find an old man who was a rich man and was locked in this room for a long time. He felt that these people have come to save him but he was shocked to know that all these people were trapped in this cube like him. Everyone wanted to get rid of this cube that's why they move ahead while helping each other and in the meantime, they see a plate written three numbers in the middle of the two rooms they do not understand its meaning. A boy now throws his shoe into the other room and finds out that there is no trap here. They all get down in it, the door of the last room was automatically locked. Immediately after which the lights here turn off and the fans made of sharp blades start moving towards them. They could have died here the next minute but Hiroshi shows his smartness and opens the lower door and all of them save their lives and come to the other room. Thank god they were saved but for now, this game of throwing their shoes and checking the rooms was flopped. Now they had to think of something new. This time, Chiharu calculates the numbers visible in the middle of the rooms and gives a theory that all the rooms here have even numbers written on their gates except for one gate, which has a prime number. There may be no trap in that room. The boy plays with his life and jumps into that room to prove his theory, Oh god, his theory turned out to be true, there was no trap here. Now using this formula, they were going to one room after another but their journey was not ending, there was no way out of the room. Now they go to the last room, which had even numbers written on the entrances of all the other rooms. It means there could have been traps in all those rooms. They decide to go back to the last room but that door was permanently locked. They ask Chiharu to calculate again, but everything was a flop. They check all the rooms one by one and discover a room that has a sound sensor. So they decide to go to the last room while making no noise and when the last boy was passing through that room and was coming to the other room, his shoe accidentally falls into the sound sensor room. Due to the noise, the laser trap is activated here and the boy's leg gets injured. They again use the theory of prime number and come to another room, they were worried. It was the same room from where they started moving ahead, they were not able to get out of this place. Chiharu calculates again and while thinking something, they come to the theory that the place where they are present is cube-shaped. Not only this, this cube is also rotating just like we rotate its sides to solve the puzzle cube. That's why people can never get out of this place. Hiroshi was crazy to hear this and says no this can't happen I can't stop because I don't have time. My wife is waiting for me, I have promised her to come back. He tells everyone to go to the next room and doing this, the cube in which these people were, suddenly started moving very fast. As a result, little Hiroshi and his companions fall into the trapped cube where a lot of laser beams attack them but they somehow escaped. Hiroshi risks his life to save his companions and gets into that dangerous cube. He saves both of them and sends them to a safe cube but his bad luck, he died of laser attack. Everyone was in shock with his death. The next many hours, they were in the sorrow of Hiroshi's death and then again, with courage, they try to get out of here. Chiharu, while doing a new calculation, tells them that the numbers they thought were even and prime numbers are telling the dimensions of small cubes in this big cube on X, Y, and Z axis. Now doing a bigger calculation, he gets the final result that if they move forward following the Y axis, they will get a safe room and after clearing some rooms, they will reach the edge of the cube. From where it will be easy to get out and they will be free from this tortuous life. Following this formula, they come to a room. Here they decided to rest for a while and that old man tells them that I think this is the punishment for the sins I have committed in my world maybe we will never get out of this place. I have deceived a lot of people and this is my punishment. As he says this, iron rods come from above and fall down. This cube is divided into two parts. With this cube, their team was also divided in half. These people now decide to move forward separately. Old man and Shinji didn't know math but they will not give up. 
Chiharu, that girl and her other companion move forward while doing their calculations. There was a screen here on which Chiharu's companion is shown his bad memories of the past. The world has oppressed his brother and he was ending himself, but he did not save his brother's life. Seeing all this, he goes crazy with grief and starts crying. Chiharu, the little boy was also in shock after seeing the story of the dying boy because the world did the same to him. On the other hand, Shinji and that old man were throwing shoes and crossing the rooms and this old man says some bad things to Shinji. He says young people are emotional and hearing all this, Shinji becomes furious. In anger, without thinking anything, he puts that man's head on the door and closes the door repeatedly and kills that man. The scene again shifts to the other group where Chiharu is calling that boy a coward because neither he could he save his brother from the world nor from dying. Chiharu was now very depressed and he doesn't want to live so he decides to open the door and jump into a trap room but this time the other boy saves Chiharu from dying to end his guilt. Now they move forward and when they open a door on the y-axis in this room, they finally see the way out of this cube but it was very dark outside. They see a cube room working as a lift and they think this cube lift will take them to the base. Now they calculate again with the help of which they can reach the lift cube. While calculating, they were moving forward that they had now found Shinji who had killed the old man. When they ask him about the old man, he says he died because he went to the trap room. Anyway, they keep moving forward and Shinji finally forcibly brings them into a trapped room. Shinji does not know what was going on in his mind, maybe he wanted to kill all of them. He comes to this room and tells them that he killed the old man too. Afraid of this boy, Chiharu and that girl go to another cube while Shinji beats their other companion a lot. That boy asks, why are you beating me? Shinji tells that he is just taking his revenge for what the world did to him. He used to work at a local shop, all the people who came there used to insult him a lot along with the owner, this thing created hatred in his heart for humans. This is the reason that he neither wants to live himself nor does he want to see others alive. Shinji was about to kill this boy by strangling him but at the last moment, he remembers his dead brother whom he could not save. He now dares and tries to save himself but before he loses in front of Shinji's powers from this trap room, some rods come from above and hit Shinji and Shinji dies. Chiharu and that girl were standing at the other gate and watching everything. This boy who was saved by Shinji takes his companions out of this room and sacrifices himself for them finally. The girl along with Chiharu reached the lift cube but Chiharu was in trauma all of his companions were left behind, some were dead. This girl gives him support and tells him to look in front from where a bright light was coming, it meant that Chiharu had reached the exit of this cube. He finally came out of this torture cube. Chiharu looks at the girl behind and she says go ahead, live your life, I will stay here to find the rest of the people. Here it is shown the boy who took a risk and took Chiharu to the lift room was still alive but severely injured. He had not yet lost hope, he was sure that someday he would get out of this cube. The twist in the story is that the girl who went back to bring the rest of the people into this cube is actually the same girl who has created this death trap in this cube. We see that she is monitoring the survivors in her eyes and now she has reached a new group who are trapped in this cube just like she reached Chiharu's group. Thank you.